everyone, it's Molly. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here. I'm going to do something and I don't know why I haven't done it this way before, or at least I can't remember doing it this way. I'm going to do an ocean cresting wave and I'm gonna do it on a round canvas. I, I had these Frederick's canvases and I was thinking, why have you not done that before? <laughs> so I'm gonna be using ocean blues and normally when I do the wave on a square or a rectangular canvas, I end up having to blow off a lot of the paint to the edges and it almost looks tie-dyed, but I'm hoping that this one has a little bit more fluid motion, like a real wave. And I know that the blues are gonna be pretty, so I'm excited to start this one. Let's paint. All right, hello everyone. Why have I not done this before? I was staring at these Frederick uh, canvases. I had bought one or bought the pack of them to do a commission. And I was like, what am I gonna do with these? I know one I'm gonna do a big colander pour with, but the other one, and I still have another one over there, I thought I'm gonna do a wave. I've never done my cresting waves. I always have to blow off of a square or rectangular canvas. Why not? press that thing on around. And I think I normally pull it into like a little spiral. I think I'm gonna have it be a little bit messier, maybe even spatter some droplets there, but I'm actually gonna blow this one in the shape of the wave. So I, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna first paint just this side around here with um, just regular tube paint so that I'll get good coverage because this is convex and it will kind of drip down the sides. But this is what I do when I paint my sides. I just literally go straight around the edges with regular tube acrylic paint. And I've already taped off the back edges. And I don't exactly know where my sky will be and it's gonna be white, even though I know the sky is blue. But, I'm going to just paint that on around and I think I'll have it crest up like that. So I'm just gonna leave it maybe like right there. And this is just so that when the paint drips down the sides that it covers it well. So you don't have to be perfect here. Get that last little bit of paint off of there. But it is just to make sure that I get good side coverage. I am actually very excited about this. <laughs> okay, I hope I have enough white paint. So I'm going to, now you always have to envision how your wave is gonna come. So I think I'm gonna pour it like right in here. Come around this way, a little bit into there. Just have it right there. Perfect. All right. I'm just using my regular ocean colors, turquoise, aqua, phthalo blue, Payne's gray, and sky blue on this one. Keeping it simple. Always tilt just a little bit to flatten everything out a little bit. Get it to run. Perfect. Now I'm wondering, is this too much? I'm actually going to go down here and then I'm going to blow it up into there. So I'm going to start with my darker color. And then I always have to be a little bit careful coming in through here. Oh, I'm so excited about this. Why have I not done this on a round canvas? I don't know. Okay. And I only got one drop right there. You would be so proud of me. I think my next color will be this turquoise. I like this already. Then 
this blue. Woo. I love how I get quiet when I'm trying to pour because I can't pour and talk to you at the same time. It's like, how on earth did I create a YouTube channel? <laughs> okay, my two lighter colors coming on in between. Yeah, so I always have to blow, and it almost looks tie-dyed when I do it on a square canvas, but I'm hoping that this will turn out okay. I do see some air bubbles as well. I'm gonna pop those. Really gonna get my lighter colors through here as well. And I hope, I'm gonna try to blow inward just a little bit on that wave portion. Okay, so I'm gonna just continue this along this edge here. Might as well just use up the rest of the paints because I don't want to have to blow off this way too much. Just put the last little bit in there. Okay. Now I'm going to drizzle just a little bit of white in between and this always creates just a really pretty blue from drizzling that white in. It would be really pretty to have a sunset here. I think that would be really nice too. And I really am gonna have to, I should have curved this in more, but hopefully I'll be able to do it with the blow dryer. We will see, right? Good thing is I have one more Fredericks canvas if I need it. I can always get more, I got them at Dick Blick. No, Jerry's Artorama maybe. One of the two. Okay, that's enough. That's enough, Molly. I'm gonna give this a good torch. All right. I really kind of like it just like this. I think it's really cool. All right, let's blow this out. Is going to so I'm gonna do kind of some little flicks kind of like it's this one I just want to kind of be like actual water tumbling over itself oh I got a I got a little too hasty with my flicks there I don't want this to be too Okay, there we go. And then this down here. Oh! <laughs> okay, maybe I got a little too zealous there. That's okay though, I can fix it. I can fix it. 
The fingertips work wonders here. Okay, here's the big blob. I feel like this has nothing on this side now. Again, I don't want it to be too, I don't want to meddle too much, you know? Oh no, oh no. Gotta use a clean finger there. There we go. I am pretty happy. Oh, what am I doing? I need, I need to wipe, I need, I need a wiper towel. <laughs> oh my God, I almost fell over. I need a wiper towel, you guys. That's my new word for a paper towel. Okay. I didn't want all those splashes. Just some. Oh, yes. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I maybe got just a little too crazy right here. Maybe I'll drag some of that back in. Wild abandon right there. <laughs> And then just maybe, maybe I do dot that out. I don't know. Okay, I curled it a little bit, but maybe I'll just, yeah. Nope. Mm -mm. Ooh. Okay. Uh, let me torch. I like that it kind of, it do, it's not tie-dyed looking. It's just looks like the motion of water. I love it. Did I get my edges covered? Of oh yes, looks amazing. Okay, this is perfect. Just got one little drop right there. One little over the edge right here. I don't even know if I want to. Okay, let me torch. Here's all those little water bubbly cells. Oh, and look at that. Okay, fix that. Oh my goodness. I love it. All right, let me show you. I honestly couldn't be happier with this. Why have I not done this on a circular canvas before? All of the, I mean, I just, I really like it. I like that it's messy down here, that it's not just perfectly you know blown towards the edges it's just it's like turbulent water kind of all over the place the tip of the wave I like that it wasn't just like perfectly circular I I'm really really happy with this piece well, you can let me know your thoughts. And if you've worked on round canvases before, let me know. I am going to be buying another set and doing all kinds of things on them. My next one, I think, will be a colander pour on one. Well, thank you so much for watching. Happy painting.